What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. And welcome to another edition of TLDR. I believe in my observation that First Amendment auditors are pro-slavery. Okay, okay, I'll give a little context to this. So lately I've been observing a bit of a pattern. Um, First Amendment auditors in their treatment of public employees and police officers Uh, They love to throw the term public servant around, especially emphasizing on the servant bit. And we also hear a lot of frauditors use the common phrases of, oh, I have rights, you have duties or privileges, or Glenn Serio infamously calling an African-American police officer his slave, as if that alone doesn't hit the subject of this video right on the nose. And sometimes we see when a public employee or police officer or even a civilian here and there exercise the exact same rights that First Amendment auditors claim to be defending, and frauditors go up in arms like total hypocrites, you know, rights of me but not for thee. So why do I think there's a connection between this and a pro-slavery mentality? Well, in the darkest chapters of human history, we've always had individuals or groups of people who, in order to build themselves up with minimal effort, they find it easier just to diminish other people marginalize them, think of them as something less, effectively dehumanize them. Because nothing makes it easier to belittle, abuse, or even harm someone if in your mind you don't see them as human. And so First Amendment auditors, when they see a public employee of any kind, whether it's a police officer or a city council member or a secretary at some public office, they see them as someone who, by virtue of working the job they're working, suddenly they're not afforded all the rights, protections, and respect that is due to a living, breathing person. They don't have to consider how they feel. They don't have to be concerned of their safety or welfare. They will extend no courtesy towards them. They will not respect any authority they have. And in some cases, they'll place more value on the instructions of inanimate objects with writing on them, such as signs or crime scene tape, over the living, breathing person giving them the instructions. Now, you could simply dismiss this as arrogant, entitled, narcissistic bullying, but I genuinely feel it's something more. And I actually find it ironic whenever these people try to use the word tyrant to describe any public employee or police officer who won't let them have their way and the measures that they go to in attempt to retaliate against them. Because these are people who are set out to feel large and in charge. They want to feel in control. They want to feel superior. So what do you get when you have someone who feels that they are naturally the superior and when people that they always consider to be inferior don't give them their way, they proceed to abuse and actively seek out means of punishment against these people for daring to challenge the reality that they have in their own minds. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds more like a tyrant. Now combine that with the fact that there are people whose job it is to interact with us and provide service to us that are essential, who cannot easily refuse like any normal person can pick and choose who they interact with, and are pretty much confined to their location that happens to share with spaces that these people can freely go to. Now the First Amendment auditor can look upon these people and say, You are less than me. You are beneath me. You are subservient to me. You have no choice. You must obey. They are effectively attempting to assert dominance or ownership of these people. And why I think this is dangerous is because these people are filming this. They are posting it on the internet to the amusement of impressionable, ignorant audiences who are going to see this and think this is the norm. That people who work these jobs are subservient, that they are lesser people, that they are in fact not humans who live, breathe, feel, have families, have lives, that they are but just disposable things whose natural state is to do nothing but serve and obey us. And so when they go out into the world, they don't have to treat them with any respect. They can tell them what to do. They become emboldened by this artificial sense of inflated superiority. And sooner or later, people are going to start using that to justify actions that against another human being would be unconscionable, but because you're doing it to a public servant, suddenly it's not. And despite the fact that we as a species have spent centuries trying to evolve beyond this idea, we're still seeing it today. Not just with First Amendment auditors and public servants, but 
there's been a growing us versus them mentality and the only way to further strengthen it is to have people think oh us we're the superior and them they're marginalized we're the righteous good guys who stand for what's right and they're the evil people who want to destroy everything so it's okay for us to reduce their rights their privileges it's okay for us to think that oh we don't have to worry about how they feel we don't have to worry about how this is going to affect them in their lives because they're beneath us who cares and i fear for the future because every time people start getting into that mindset it's usually followed by another dark chapter in our history that future generations have to look back on with shame and regret so there you have it first amendment auditors don't stand for freedom they don't stand for liberty they don't stand for rights because they want to live in a world where they get to decide who is worthy of those things but then again Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see even more in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section. I always love to read them. Till next time.